In 2009, it seems to me, we are, all of these risks are informed by a world that, where globalization is increasingly being challenged by state capitalism, where increasingly the dominant economic actors and market forces are governmental. Uh, they are not corporations. That has been a long time coming. It, it was coming when national oil corporations became more important than multinationals over the past several decades. It was coming with the rise of state-owned enterprises as the BRICS and other emerging markets and frontier markets became more important. It was coming as sovereign wealth funds became much more important um, in the investment community over the last several years. And in the past six months, it's become much more important because of the extraordinary governmental response on stimulus and regulatory policy to this global financial crisis. So 2009 is the year where st the state is not dead, right? The state actors come back, and in my view, that creates more regionalization of capital flows, not global, for reasons we can talk about. It creates less efficiency um, in the global economy, and it creates winners and losers that are increasingly determined by political as opposed to by purely economic-driven uh, factors.